Welcome to the Smithsonian Learning Lab. In this video, you'll learn how to create a Canvas standalone feature in your Learning Lab collection. Canvas enables the creation of unique combinations of images, text, lines, shapes, and templates to appear as a single resource in your Learning Lab collection, like you see on the screen here. This is a canvas where I needed to show multiple images on the same tile to help students pick an object to discuss in small groups. Canvas can be used to offer new pedagogical approaches, such as a side-by-side -side image comparison, mash up multiple images into a new collage or zine, to create graphics that separate a collection into sections and more. To create a canvas in a collection, click the green edit button in the upper right of the collection that you want to add the canvas to. Once you're in edit mode, click the add a resource button in the upper right then select the Add a Standalone Feature tab. Here, you'll have a few different options. Click Canvas, and then click the blue Add button just above it. Choose your Canvas template from either the Standard or Girlhood options, and select your background color and layout. I'm going to select a standard blank canvas with a white background and a landscape layout. Once I'm done making my choices, I'm going to click the blue Next button. I'm now ready to customize my canvas. Using the icons on the side of my canvas, I can add images, drawing, shapes, and text. Each element can be resized, cropped, and rotated. I'm going to use Canvas to create a compare and contrast between two images in my collection. So first, to add images, I'm going to click the Image button. The Learning Lab is going to offer me a few different ways to pull images into my Canvas. I'm going to select the From Collection tab here. I'll select the images that I want to import. I'm going to choose these two buttons. Once I've selected them so that they have a blue overlay on top, I'm going to click the blue Add button. Once they're in my collection, I can click on them to open up options for resizing them by clicking and dragging on the corners, clicking and dragging on the image itself to move it into a new position. If I'd like to crop out any areas of an image, for example, on this pin, there's a lot of gray, a space that I don't need in my canvas. I'll select the image by clicking on it, and then I'll click the crop button in the upper left of the image. This will open up options for both cropping and flipping the resource. For this, I'm going to click the custom crop, and then I'm going to adjust the bounds of this cropping space so that it cuts out the parts I don't want. Once I finish making my changes, I'm going to click the blue apply button. And there we go. Next, I'm going to add some instructions for my learners to help them compare and contrast these two images. To add text, I'll click the text button here. It will drop in a little text field for me. Here, I can change the font, the size of the text, the color, and the format. Here, I'm going to paste in my instructions that I wrote before. When I click on the box, I'll have some options to resize it by clicking and dragging on the sides. And clicking and dragging on the text itself will move it into a new position. You can continue to edit your canvas at any time. Click Done in the upper right when you're done customizing for the time being. My new canvas will appear at the bottom of my collection. From there, I can keep working on it. If I'd like to add the canvas I just created to another collection, for example, I created a canvas that separates a collection into sections, I can do so by clicking the Add a Resource button again in the upper right. And this time, I'll select the My Resources tab. Here, I'll find canvases I previously created as well as resources that I previously uploaded.